Honestly, this thought of reincarnation has been on my mind ever since I was a child. It was the beginning or the root of my obsession, if I may. If we truly are energy and we don't die, then what happens next? If the idea of reincarnation really exists, then it means that behind the scenes of the life as we know it, there is another chemistry or another tapestry hidden from us. The crazy part is that it has been there all along. Hey there, beautiful souls, Gabby here. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below. I'm interested to know your opinion on this topic and if you have any weird memories or emotions that you just cannot explain. Also, make sure to stick till the end as I'm going to share with you some personal thoughts of mine regarding this topic. The Latin term reincarnation translates to entering the flesh again, capturing the very essence of this concept. It proposes that while our physical bodies may perish, our inner selves, our souls endure, transitioning into new forms and continuing the cycle of existence. In traditions where reincarnation is a central theme, such as Buddhism and Hinduism, the process is deeply intertwined with the concept of karma. According to this belief system, our actions, moral nature, and our current life influences the circumstances of our next life. Positive deeds cultivate good karma, leading to favorable conditions in the following life, while negative actions result in less desirable circumstances. In Eastern philosophies like Buddhism, the continuous cycle of birth, death, and rebirth is referred to as samsara. This cyclical nature of existence is often depicted through the bhavakakra, or wheel of life, which demonstrates the realms one may inhabit according to their accumulated karma. Navigating through these realms often involves experiencing physical pain, mental suffering, and social injustices, challenging the soul to grow and evolve. Breaking free from samsara by achieving self-knowledge, enlightenment, and liberation is the ultimate goal within these traditions. This state of liberation, referred to as nirvana in Buddhism, signifies the end of suffering and the achievement of ultimate peace. To explore the reality of reincarnation from a scientific perspective, we turn to the work of Dr. Jim B. Tucker, a child psychiatrist at the University of Virginia School of Medicine. Dr. Tucker has dedicated his career to studying children who claim to remember past lives, providing potential evidence for the concept of reincarnation. Children who recall past lives often share specific details about their previous existence, such as names, places, events, and even the manner of their past life's death. In some cases, physical birthmarks corresponding to these memories have also been reported. Dr. Tucker has compiled thousands of such cases, with many suggesting a high degree of accuracy in these recall details. One of Dr. Tucker's most prominent cases involves a boy named Ryan from the American Midwest. Ryan claimed to remember a past life as a Hollywood actor in the 1930s. He provided specific details about his past life, including the names of friends, significant addresses and events. After extensive research, many of Ryan's claims were verified, further supporting the possibility of reincarnation. Dr. Tucker has suggested a potential connection between the concept of reincarnation and our understanding of quantum mechanics. In quantum theory, the physical reality of anything doesn't truly exist until that thing is observed. This idea could provide a basis for separating the brain and mind, suggesting that consciousness could continue to exist after the physical brain has ceased to function. While past life regression, a technique that uses hypnosis to recover memories of past lives, is generally regarded as pseudoscience. It has actually yielded numerous claims of past life recalls. However, it's worth noting that most cases of children remembering past lives do not involve hypnosis. The egg theory, a concept proposed by novelist Andy Weir in a short story, provides a unique perspective on reincarnation. The theory suggests that each individual is living every human life possible, past, present, and future. This idea aligns with philosophies like open individualism and eternalism, which proposes that all states of time exist simultaneously and that everyone's experiences are interconnected. So this brings me to today. I feel like the topic of reincarnation was the beginning which intrigued my curiosity into the behind the scenes of life. We are all connected at the end of the day. We are all one. So I feel like having a better understanding of the life you live in this manner can open your awareness. And once your core understands who we truly are, only then will we live abundantly in many aspects of our lives. The concept of reincarnation offers a fascinating perspective on life, death, and the nature of existence, while it may not be universally accepted. Research like Dr. Tucker's and philosophies like the egg theory provide compelling arguments for its potential reality. Whether you believe in the idea of reincarnation or not, exploring such concepts can broaden our understanding of life and the universe. That's it for me for today. Let me know down below what you think about this. I really hope you liked this video, and if you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and share it with anyone who needs a positive shift in their life. Thanks again, and until next time, keep dreaming. 
Keep visualizing and keep manifesting.